Murphy Productions. Hello, Murphy. Okay, you've got your box. You've used your nail punches. You've punched your nails in. Two mil deep. You filled them with your filler. And now you've sanded it all back to this stage. What we're going to do next, we're going to mark it out all the way around 25 millimeters. This is what we're doing first. So use your ruler like that, 25 millimeters. Use the bottom of your ruler as your guide. So you can line them up like that, mark it out, and go all the way around your box. So we can cut it all out. So I'm going to go around the box and just cut that out. Okay, you get your line all the way around the box now. And then you're going to give it to Mr. Lewis and he's going to cut the box in half for you. Okay, you've got your box back of Mr. Lewis. It's like this now in two halves. It'll be a little bit rough, so you'll need to get a little bit of sandpaper and rub around the edges on the outside and on the inside too. So you need to do that for a couple of minutes. And then just rub your finger around, make sure that it's nice and smooth inside and out. So I'm going to measure the inside of my box so you can put your little bits of plywood in. So I measure my box, it is 166. So I need to measure 166 millimetres. So I get my pencil, measure 166. 166. A line around. Then you can get your bench hook on your bench. And you can saw that off. So you sand your little bits of plywood down after you've filed, after you've sawn them. And this is what you do. You're going to place them there in the box. Oh, no, it's that way. On the ends now where you just saw them. And you're going to put them in there like that. Now we need to measure the next side. So you've got to allow for the two edges of your wood. Which is... 70 millimeters, so I'll mark it off. 70 millimeters. Okay, we're going to put our little bits of plywood in our box that secures the lid on. So, a good idea would be to put your plywood in, make sure it's down at the bottom, get a pencil, and lightly put a pencil line across there. And that's where we want our glue to go, just down there. ones put a little bit of glue on and stick those in same on each end when you put them in you can probably put just a couple of clamps put them across and clamp your work in we have a couple of smaller clamps at school that you could use just to clamp in and make sure that your work is nice and secure Right, the next bit, we need to get our images on. My space theme is Star Wars. If you have a look, we've got some little images there. If you look at the words, it's mirror image. So you need to mirror image your words. So flip it horizontally and get the words mirror image because when we rub the paper off, the words will shine through properly. So we want to be mirror image. Cover the picture. What are you covering it with? PVA glue, white glue.
and then rub all the air bubbles out. Dry overnight or you haven't got time, stick it from the heater. So it's dried now, what do we do now? Now it's dried. Oh, no bubbles. Place it on some paper. Get a small bit of water in the bowl. Wet your finger, not too much. Don't wet it too much. So wet it slightly and start rubbing. So just keep it, try and keep it as dry as you can. Now you see, all the white paper is starting to come off. You don't want to saturate it, otherwise it makes the glue come off. So keep it like dry, okay, it'll drip. Wait, see the black coming through? So what we're trying to do is get rid of all this white paper on here. As you can see, you've taken most of the white paper off. Now it's dried, you can see that some of the white paper is coming back through. This is where you probably use your Mod Podge or you could use a bit of vegetable oil. Which is cheaper, it's about what is a dollar for this? Dollar fifty or something. A little bit on a tissue, wipe it over. Oh. That's probably what your Mod Podge will do. And there you go, all your white bits have all vanished. It makes it a little bit shiny, look. And you see. can do is it's best if you glue it and leave it overnight so we may not have time to do it during lessons today so you may be get to this stage box all finished take it home and you can do it at home if you're gonna do this at home I will leave a link so you can uh, watch it on YouTube and you can do this at home there you go and it's my wife's channel she says don't forget to like and subscribe